So this is going to be the first in a series of videos I'm going to release for Flight Sim Economy. How to get you on board, get your accounts created, how to install the clients and use them, and then finally how to navigate through the world of FS Economy. You're going to need to get two accounts. The first account is going to be for this, fseconomy.net. And fseconomy.net is mainly a big forum where you can interact with the rest of the community. The community itself is the reason I've stuck with FS Economy. Even though I've tried other platforms that do kind of the same thing, I keep coming back to FS Economy because of the community. It's pretty big. So to get an account created here, you want to go to the right and click sign up. Uh, take note, um, go ahead and create a username and enter your information and make sure it's not something you're going to regret in a few months from now. And whatever email you use, you will receive a confirmation email before you can sign back in. So once you do all this, hit sign up, uh, check your email. I don't know how fast you actually get these. I think they're done manually, but come back, go ahead and click log in with your credentials. And here we want to go to form then index and then from here go down to the FSC support forum and down to this thread called new FSC game world account request once you're here uh, there are pins and it tells you exactly how to do this but if you look at what other people do it's pretty simple you hit new topic and in the subject go ahead and type new FSE game world account request I can't spell it and then for the message just something really simple hi can I please have a new game world account thanks and I'm not going to click submit but you'd want to submit it and then one of the admins will review it and give you access and the way this works is you'll come back and check your post you should receive a reply that looks like this. It's a generic reply that they send to people once they get their accounts. So once you've been approved and you have access, you're going to want to go to server.fseconomy.net. Once you're here, use the same username and password you used at the forum site to log in here. Agree and log in. And once you do that, we have to install the client. So come over here to the right hand side for shortcuts. Click on installing the clients. And this is for Microsoft Flight Sim. We're going to go get the Sim Connect client for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 because that's the sim that I fly. So you click on that on the left hand side over here. Scroll down and there are all the installation instructions. It's pretty simple. Step one, click this, it will automatically download for you. And I'm on Google Chrome, so you just click on that. It'll open, we're gonna run it. And it's done, that's it, there's nothing else. We'll go ahead and close this page. Step two, install the FSC Sim Connect client. Click on that, click install, same thing. It downloaded to the download manager within Chrome for me. I'm gonna run setup.exe, we're gonna run it and run and it's pretty simple just click next 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 until it's installed um, if yours looks different than mine so the first time you log in you're going to want to come to file config and here you need to enter your username and password that you use for the fsc sites so once you do that you're going to hit ok sim connect's going to close and it should automatically reopen And once it's open again, go ahead and click File and Config. So you'll notice down here that we're connected to the actual server, but we're not connected to a simulator, and in our case, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. That's because we have to get this set up correctly. So go into the Simulator tab under Config. Make sure that you're using the Remote Computer option. It doesn't matter if it's remote or not. This is what you have to use to make this work for some connect and flight some 2020 the host name should be your local 127.0.0.1 and then port 500 once you do that hit ok and it should connect up um, if you have a flight some open right now we don't 
we're going to close out of sim connect and we're going to boot up microsoft flight sim then start the client after all right so we're booted in we're going to go ahead and go to the world map and it looks like we're still in an sr22 from my last flight so that'll be good for our test i keep sim connect right next to flight simulator in my start menu i'm going to go ahead and run it and we should see this connect after a few seconds and we are connected and it is pulling in that we currently have a cirrus sr22 as our chosen plane in the sim so that's good it's working um, I'll cover this more in depth on the next video when we get into how to rent a plane, how to take passenger and cargo jobs, and make money, and get fuel, and all the fun things you can do in Flight Sim Economy. So thanks for stopping by and checking out this tutorial today. I hope it was helpful for some of you who may be interested in getting in Flight Sim Economy. And until next time, you guys take care.